Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be doing a Fusion 360 tutorial and specifically I want to teach you how to define a curve by a function in Fusion 360. Autodesk Fusion 360 is a program I used for CAD design and CAM and it does not include a way to do this without doing some sort of scripting or add-ins or what I'm going to show you right here. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off in the graphing calculator just to just to show you kind of an idea of what we're doing. And it would also be helpful for you if you started out in a graphing calculator, just kind of graph the function you want. So right here, I want to graph y equals e to the x. And I graphed it right here. And you can see I want the section from x equals negative 2 to x equals 1. So now that I got a general idea of the shape of the curve I want to create. I'm going to bring it over into Excel and start writing some equations. So here I have it all done. Excel spreadsheet. I'll have this linked in the description if in case you want to check it out, but it's really simple. You have your X initial value. So negative two, I want to start at negative two and then negative one, negative zero, one. And in order to solve for the Y points, I have the equation here, which is E to the power of the cell right here, C8. And then I just put it over here and then this one's the exponent to the power of C9 exponent to the power of C10. And you could, in theory, if you wanted uh, to get a lot of data points, you could just drag it all down. Then you could get a lot of data points. But as you can see, it's an exponential function and it grows very large very quickly. So now that we got that, we're going to just come over here and we're going to add two to this number so we can get it to zero. And now we have our starting point, 0, 1, 2, 3. And you'll see why that's important in a second. So now we have these two values are what's important right here. So we go over into Fusion 360, start a new sketch, and we're going to start making lines. So we're going to go at 0, which is the origin right here. At point 0, uh, the y value is going to be 0.1353. So I'll copy that, make a line, and paste it. All right, that's our first point. And our second point, which will be at one. So we'll go over here. We'll make this one. This will be equal to this number, 0.367. And then at two, it'll be equal to one. And at three, we have it equal to 2.71828. Now you can see where the, our function is starting to take shape. So we'll go here and we'll start connecting these dots, the top of these lines here with a fit point spline. And we'll go here and just click on the top of each of these um, lines you set here and click the check mark. So there you have it. There is our curve, which is defined by e to the power of x. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was useful to you and you learned something. Uh, this is a little bit different than my normal video where I, you know, make flamethrowers and night vision cameras and hydrogen generators. So if you're interested in that and you're new to the channel, go ahead and check that out. That would, I really appreciate that if you're interested. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.